Hey everyone, this is Kieran from the Musculoskeletal Clinic. Today's exercise is looking at our brachial plexus and how we could encourage a little bit of sliding and gliding of that neural network against all the other tissues in this area. So if you've been getting like whole arm, hand, numbness, tingling, um, or you've been getting like burning sensations, stabby sensations, things like that, um, and you've had maybe uh, some guidance around an assessment and decided that there's a neurodynamic issue of the peripheral nerves moving through um, the musculoskeletal system, then you'll probably find this exercise useful. Um, that being said, it can be an, uh, a complex thing to treat. So just be mindful that these things can be aggravating and less is more. So I will go a little bit over that in the uh, description um, coming up. So the brachial plexus is what is, well, I guess a nice way to visualize it would be to think about, you know, branches on a tree. You know, they're near each other, they're maybe not quite parallel, but they sort of all move in the same general direction. And they start from the neck, and you've got various uh, levels throughout your neck where these nerve roots come out of, and then they become this brachial plexus through different divisions and cords and all the nerves that give you sensation for your upper limb and your shoulder blade um, and the, the motor innervation, the ability for your muscles to do things and through like your lats and your serratus and other sort of shoulder girdle muscles. And then they kind of go into this arm and become these peripheral nerves. So we've got some slider and glider videos you can watch for those specific peripheral nerves. Um, we've got things like the median nerve, the radial and the ulnar. There's a couple other nerves you can think about as well. But with the brachial plexus, it's a little less specific. Um, the thing to think about, about the interface, is you're thinking about things like the collarbone, you're thinking about some of the muscles that might impact, like the pec minor, you're thinking about the scalene muscles, and essentially what you're looking at is neck movement, and you're also looking at shoulder girdle movement, okay? Now, you can manipulate this a little bit by doing things down the other end. We may not go into full detail with that in this recording. But if you want to get into more of the nuances of the prescription around this, definitely dive into the other videos I recorded because I talk a lot more about the, the why behind it and how you can customize your prescription, okay? But in essence, we're trying to promote excursion. So we're trying to promote sliding and gliding of the nerve. We're not trying to stretch the nerve. There's very little stretch in nerves and they're usually um, less tolerant to it. And therapeutically, there isn't really rationale for why we would stretch a nerve in most cases, because we're talking about a very minimal amount. In most cases, it's people's inability for their nerves to slide against other tissue. And in the other videos, we use this as an analogy, but dental floss, it's meant to slide against your teeth, right? But at some point, that became sensitized. And so the nerve is the dental floss, and the teeth could be anything, bone, connective tissue, muscle, et cetera, okay? Now, We've got things like one-ended sliders and two-ended sliders. With the, the brachial plexus, you can do a little bit of both. So if I was to pull my shoulder blade up, and I'm gonna use this arm to support, because I wanna get the muscle, or the muscular system to be somewhat relaxed, so that I'm promoting mainly neural movement. If I lift my shoulder girdle up like this, I'm shortening that brachial plexus up and underneath this collarbone area, okay? If I tilt my head this way to the left, I'm shortening this left side as well. So if I did both, I'm shortening it maximally. With a one-ended slider, I only need to move one region, and the nerve's gonna move the most in the region or the joint area that's moving, and it's gonna move towards that area as well, okay? So with the shoulder girdle, if I'm just lifting it up and down, up and down, I'm trying to do all that work with my right arm here, this one here. I'm doing a one-ended slider, okay? If I wanna make this into a two-ended slider, I might get my neck involved. So if I'm shortening at the shoulder girdle, I'm gonna move my neck to the right, and so now it lengthens at the neck. And now I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna bring my shoulder girdle down and tilt my head to the left. So now it's lengthening at the shoulder girdle and it's shortening at the neck. So I can do a two-ended slider. 
right? So there's a little bit of coordination element to it. But you might find that after doing these, those symptoms you were getting, or even if there's like a residual feeling of heaviness or tightness, that stuff will start to resolve a little bit. If you've got specific areas of symptoms, say on the hand or in through the forearm here, then definitely look at the peripheral nerve videos I've got up because that's going to give you something more specific to those areas. Um, if you've got any symptoms kind of, you know, in other places, then um, things can get a little bit more, not hard to, to, to manage, but the, you're looking at more of a general sort of slider glider thing. And that's where the brachial plexus comes in a bit because that gets our component of all the nerves being involved. So I might do something where I manipulate the hand, for example, and start to do the shoulder girdle like this. Or I can be in this kind of position and I start to do the shoulder girdle. So all the movement's happening in this area and I'm getting some of my other nerves like the muscular cutaneous nerve, axial nerve, et cetera. Um, a little bit outside the context of this video though. So give that a go and see if you find it helpful and therapeutic and feel free to ask me some questions and I can try and clarify any issues you might have. If you like this video, then please hit like below. Otherwise, to check out more of our content in the future, you can subscribe to our channel by clicking our logo over here. And to check out our latest video, click up here.